In this video, I'm gonna be talking about bit masking. First, I'm gonna go over an explanation of what bit masking is and how it works, and then we'll have just a few simple examples to get a feel for how we use it. So to start, let's just get a basic definition of what bit masking is. So here it says, bit masking is a strategy that allows us to operate on some bits of binary data without affecting other bits. And this can be really useful in programming if we wanna change some bits of data, but either we don't know what the other ones do or we want to leave them alone, or we don't wanna worry about setting all of the bits of some register or some other data. So that's what we want to do, but let's see how we can do that. And I'm just gonna start off by drawing a few different truth tables that we'll see how we can use to make bit masks. So the first truth table I'm going to draw is an AND truth table. So an AND logical operator. So we'll say we have inputs A and B and output C. And we'll just draw this truth table. We have 0, 0, 1, 1 for A, 0, 1, 0, 1 for B. And let's see what we get for C. So 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 1 is 0. 1 and 0 is the same thing. And then 1 and 1 is 1. So, of course, with the AND gate, the only way we can get 1 is if both of our inputs are 1. So this is our truth table. And now let's have a look at this in a little bit of a different way. So if we think of A as our starting number and B as our tool that we're using or our mask, we can kind of get a different feel for this. So we see that when B is 0, a ends up becoming zero if A is our starting number. So in that case, B kind of overrides whatever A was and makes it zero. But then in the case where B is one, we see that C ends up being whatever A was. So the zero straight on over and then the one straight on over for the cases where B is one. So in AND gate, we can say that we use zero to make zero. So that just means that if b is our mask, then we set whatever bit we want to zero, and that'll make anything a zero in the final result. So another truth table we can draw out is or. So once again, a, b, c. And I'll just quickly draw in this truth table. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And we can see what the results are for or. So 0 or 0 is 0. 0 or 1 is 1. 1 or 0, same thing. 1 or 1 is 1. In this case, once again, thinking of A as our starting value and B as our mask, we see that when B is 0, A remains the same as it was before. So A just goes straight over for both cases where B is 0. But when we have B set to 1, we see that C is always going to be one. So we can say that we can use an OR gate to use one to make one. So whenever our B is one, the result ends up being one no matter what A was, and the other values just remain the same. And then one more truth table we can draw out is a little more advanced one. We have the exclusive OR or XOR. So we'll draw that one out, A, B, C, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And you're familiar with some logic gates, you know that exclusive OR looks a lot like the regular OR, except for when both of our inputs are 1, we're going to get a 0. But other than that, it's the same. So we have 0, 1, 1, 0. So in this case, what we can see happens is that when b is 0, and we're thinking of a as our starting number, we stay the same. So for both of those cases, 0 stays 0, 1 stays 1. But in the case where b is 1, we see that a becomes the opposite of whatever a started as. So when a starts as 0, we put in b as 1, do an exclusive or, we get 1. And then if we start with a as 1, and then b as 1, we get 0. So we can say that exclusive or use one to toggle. Toggle just meaning that we switch the value from zero to one or one to zero. These are the basic logic gates we're gonna be using for our bit masks. And this might be a little confusing still, 
but I think it'll make more sense when we start going through a couple examples of how we actually use bitmask. So I'll start off with this first example. So it says design a bitmask to clear bit five of an 8-bit word and find the result of using the mask on the following word. So we have a little example of a 8-bit word right here. So the word clear here usually means to, to make a bit zero. So I'll just write make zero up here so we don't forget. And bit five, um, which bit is that? So if we just use this uh, example word down here to do our counting, we remember we always start at the least significant bit at zero. So that's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for our eight bits. So bit five is right here, this one. So our goal is to make a mask that we can use on any 8-bit word that'll make bit 5 zero. So we saw before in our truth tables that an AND will do a good job of making things zero if the AND mask has zeros in it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out an 8-bit number and we're going to do all ones except for bit 5. So I'll just write out 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is our mask, so that's the first part of the problem. And then it says find the result using the following word. So if we copy that word down here, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. And we combine those using an AND. And this is a, a bitwise AND, so we'll just operate on each bit individually. And we'll find our result down here. So 0 and 1 is going to be 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0 and 1, 0 again, 1 and 1 is 1 again, and then we just keep going, 1 and 1 is 1, 1 and 0 is 0, 1 and 1, 1, 0 and 1 is 0. And this is our result that we get after applying our mask, and we see that it's actually the same exact data as our starting word except for bit 5 has been made 0 but the rest of the bits are still the same as the original word and that's what we wanted. So now let's look at a, another example as we're getting the hang of this. This example says design a bit mask to set bits 0, 6, and 7 of an 8-bit word and find the result of using the mask on the following word. So very similar problem here, but this time instead of the word clear, we have the word set. And we usually use the word set to mean to make one. So we want to make bits 0, 6, and 7 one of any 8-bit word. In the beginning, we saw that a OR gate is good at making things one. So I'm going to design a mask that's all zeros except for ones at bit 0, 6, and 7. So starting at bit 0, I'm going to write a 1, and then bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, bit 4, bit 5, and then bit 6 and 7 we also want to set since we have 0, 6, and 7. So now we have our mask, which is all zeros except for 1s at 0, 6, and 7. So now let's do a bitwise OR operation on this and our original word. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And we'll just do the OR operator on each of these bits. So 0 or 1 is 1, 0, 0, 0. 1 or 0 is 1, again. 0 or 0, still 0. 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 1 is 1. And 0 or 1 is 1. In this case, we see that we set bit 0, it went from 0 to 1. The bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 all remained unchanged, and bit 7 was also set to 1. So an important note here is that our goal was to make a mask that would set bit 6 to 1 as well, but bit 6 was already 1, so we didn't need to change it. So our mask worked and it didn't do anything that we didn't want since our goal was to have 0, 6, and 7 be 1 and that's done and the other values are unchanged. So let's go to our last quick example here. It says design a bit mask to toggle the four least significant bits of an 8-bit word and find the result of using the mask on the following word. So the least four significant bits will be the four bits on the right 
And we saw before that toggling can be done with an exclusive or mask. So we saw when we exclusive or something with a one, it toggles. So I'm just gonna design my mask like this. So it'll be four zeros and then four ones which basically says leave everything in the first four bits the same and then toggle the last four bits. So we're gonna have a bitwise exclusive or and then our starting word one zero one zero zero one zero zero. And let's see what we get when we exclusive or these. Zero exclusive or one is one. Zero exclusive or one is one. One exclusive or one is zero, and zero one, still one. Zero exclusive or is zero. One exclusive or zero is one. Zero exclusive or zero is zero, and one exclusive or zero is one. So we see that our first four bits match identically to our first four bits in our starting word. And then our last four bits are the exact opposite of our last four bits here, which are the four least significant bits. And those are the ones that we wanted to toggle. So this one also worked. So basically we see that we're able to manipulate some bits while leaving the other ones unchanged just by being clever with masks that we use uh, an exclusive or, an and, or an or operator on. And this allows us to manipulate some bits while leaving the other ones unchanged. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.